Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Hook. I work for Flying Fish. We are the leading provider of professional uh, instructional training in snow and water sports. Uh, we've got a stand here today, so if you want to come and see us, please do come over. Uh, this section of uh, presentations is on uh, working as a water sports instructor, and I'd like to introduce to you uh, Ben Scarisbrook, who works for Sunsail, uh, one of the largest uh, holiday companies in the water sports sector. Ben, up you come. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for, for coming down to, to see a little bit about Sunsail. As uh, you just said, I will be talking about the water sports and also working on flotillas uh, and bare boats uh, across the, the Med mainly which we're recruiting for at the moment. A little bit of history about Sunsail to start with. Uh, we are part of the TUI group, but we did set up originally in 1974, okay, when we opened our first flotilla and beach club. Uh, we've now got 25 different yacht bases across 19 different countries, and also our club Vanaki in Greece. In 1999, um, Sunsail became part of the first choice group, and then in 2007, the merger happened between Thompson and First Choice, creating TUI Travel, uh, which is the, Europe's largest travel company now. Okay, we do have 200 leading brands globally and 48,000 employees, so it's absolutely massive. Just to give you a rough idea of some of the brands that come under us, okay, uh, just a little bit of a selection there. As you can see, there might be some uh, brands you recognize, hopefully. So we'll, uh, we'll start off by talking about uh, working on flotillas. Okay, firstly, just give you a rough indication of where we are across the, uh, the Med and the Caribbean stuff. Uh, we have got bases in Croatia, Greece, Turkey, and a bare boat base in Italy. It's not a flotilla base, but uh, it might be soon. Also, we run the UK flotilla um, down in Port Solent. We do also have bases in the Far East and Exotics. Okay, uh, sounds very nice, but unfortunately we don't recruit for them from the UK. They are, they are locally recruited. However, we do take people across in the Caribbean and Bahamas uh, for the winter time. We have a few positions come up over there, which we will offer to returning staff that have completed the Mediterranean season. To give you guys a rough idea of the flotilla concept, okay, it is the ultimate in social sailing, um, and it's providing a perfect balance between independent sailing and uh, unobtrusive support, okay? It's a maximum of kind of 12 to 13 boats, um, roughly about 60 clients you might be looking after during high season. The lead boat is providing the support of the skipper, host, and engineer, okay? All in a formal, relaxed environment, okay? The bare boat concept uh, varies a little bit more. Uh, the people come, they pick up the boats from the base, and they go off by themselves for their holiday, whether that's one or two weeks or however long they decide. They do have more independence, and they have a wider choice of locations. Not all our bases are flotilla bases. Uh, some of them just do bare boats. They have a larger choice of boats, ranging from 30 foot all the way up to 52 foot, and the catamarans. For obvious reasons, we don't let the catamarans uh, go on flotillas because they take up too much room. Uh, so you'll be looking as a lead crew uh, of a maximum size boat of something around 44 foot. They have the base support, so if there's any issues uh, while they're out, they can call up the base and uh, they will come out and fix the boats for them. The team that we've got out in resort, um, all of those people there that you can see are UK recruited for Greece. So you have managers, receptionists, base engineers, and then the flotilla crews of skippers, hosts, engineers and also kids activity coordinators. Now the kids activity coordinators are there for the high periods of the, the season looking after the kids that will come out on flotilla to make sure the host engineer and skipper can kind of get on with their usual day-to-day -day job which will be mooring up the boats, making sure the guests are happy and looking after them and also uh, letting them know the evening's plan. The engineer's obviously there to, to hopefully make sure everything's running smoothly and everything's uh, keeping fixed if it should go wrong while, uh, while the guests are on holiday. Out in Italy, we just have bare boat skippers and base engineers. In Croatia, um, due to the local uh, laws of who we can recruit, uh, we only actually have flotilla skippers and everybody else there is locally recruited. Whereas in Turkey, we have the flotilla crews, which are UK recruited, and all the base team are then um, locally recruited. So just to give you an idea of our season, okay, we are currently recruiting people to go out 
and start uh, as early actually as the end of February. Uh, but we do have later start dates running at the, uh, the end of April, uh, end of March, sorry, and then beginning of April. And that runs through all the way to about mid-November. When you initially go out on season, uh, you go into a period of time called refit, uh, where we'll be getting the boats ready, uh, making sure everything is ready for when the clients arrive. So that can be anything from anti-fouling the boats and polishing the sides, to getting the sails on, and also all the safety equipment behind that as well, so getting the life rafts and fire extinguishers on. After that, um, you go into your low season period of time, um, taking out three to four kind of boats at a time, getting to know your route. It's a real crucial time that you get to know your route, get talking to the locals and find out any local information you can um, before the clients ask you those key questions. And then into a high season role where you'll be jam-packed full, okay, it'll merge into one massive flotilla because you'll be looking after about 12 boats at a time and 60 clients week after week. Uh, it's really, really good fun, but it is hard work. Um, and then you come out of the other end of it into a little bit of a chill-out period, into low season, and then into actually lay-up, not refit at the end, doing the reverse of refit, uh, packing the boats away for the winter. So your role each week on Flotilla, okay, you're going to be getting the boats ready on turnaround, making sure that when the clients arrive uh, that they, it's going to be ready for them for their week's holiday. Meeting and greeting the clients um, and showing them where things are, giving them the welcome brief on the first morning and uh, standing up in front of them um, and uh, making sure that everything's telling them the week's plan for your Flotilla. Okay, uh, also getting on with technical briefings, so telling the clients how everything works on the boats. Um, some people will be very experienced on these boats, other people might not have so much experience, so it's making sure that people are aware of how things operate. Then you'll be giving mooring assistance to clients in the evenings, so uh, when they're coming in to, to the, uh, the harbour that evening, catching their lines, letting them know where to drop their anchors and stuff like that, giving them assistance, and then talking to the clients during the evening, Giving up during the socialising period and uh, making sure they're happy with everything on that. But you are there for 24 hour support, so you're the client's main point of call. Uh, so if they have any problems at all, they will come to you and uh, look for some assistance, really. Whereas a base role is slightly different, uh, you'll be doing the turnarounds and technical briefings, giving a local area briefing at the start of the week to all our bareboat clients. And also dealing with call-outs, so if any of the boats have any problems, going out and helping them fix the problem. Doing deliveries is another thing, okay? During the season, we do one-way spare boat charters, so taking a boat from one place and dropping it off to the next place. Obvious reasons, we don't want all our boats at one base, so uh, you might be required to take them back up. Doing skipper charters, so uh, taking people out for the week or two week on board your boat, and, uh, showing them the area, and also giving flotilla support when and where necessary. Okay, moving on, uh, we're going to talk about the, the club's role kind of now, uh, working at Vanaki Club. So, a typical week at working at the club, you'll be doing transfer days, uh, doing the punch party with clients, so getting everybody down to the bar, uh, having some punch with them, and also the barbecue that is provided for them that evening. Uh, it's a real good fun time to get to know the clients, and it's really crucial to kind of get them talking to each other as well. Uh, making their holiday really good for the rest of the week. You also uh, might need to be getting involved in the quiz night, so standing up in the restaurant on one of the nights and doing a quiz for the clients, uh, which really always goes down really well and it's always a bit of a laugh. And also at the end of the week, standing up um, in the restaurant again, giving a little bit of a prize giving for those key things that went on through the week. So you've got the sailing regattas um, and stuff like that that happened throughout the week and giving out prizes for them. You'll also be, uh, your day-to-day -day kind of stuff, will be doing your kids' sailing activities down on the water, off the beach, providing safety cover for that, and also rigging the boats up and de-rigging them as the clients require. And if you're a water sports instructor, you will be doing formal and informal sailing tuition, so whether that's doing one of our little classes down the beach, or whether it's actually going out with the clients and teaching them um, the ropes, so to speak. The kids club is another aspect that we look at, okay, um, so you've got activity assistants working in the kids club um, and they'll be doing different activities with the kids. As you can see there, they're actually doing uh, board balancing uh, down on the water, but it could be anything from doing that to canoeing, ringos, pool games, uh, a bit of sailing and team games and stuff like that. What we offer then, um, this is the different kind of things that you can do at Club Vanaki. 
Uh, you can do the dinghy sailing, windsurfing, canoeing, mountain biking, tennis, swimming, spa treatments, water ski and wakeboarding. And also now we have the yacht sailing school as well, so that you could go out and be, um, do your day skipper course or something like that if you wanted to. So there's a huge amount that we offer out of Club Vanaki uh, for our clients. The customers that we have come out, uh, they are families uh, mainly, but we also do get couples. And they do come out a good couple of times a year uh, with us to Club Vanaki, which is great. And the jobs for you guys um, that you might be interested in out of Club Vanaki, we have different positions as you can see up there. We've got management positions that could be beach manager, could be hotel manager or bar manager or anything like that. Also, we've got the water sports instructors and also the trainee instructors down on the beach uh, doing the, the instruction and also uh, rigging and de-rigging the boats up uh, for our clients. The yacht instructors working out of our sea school um, out there, teaching people uh, day skipper and ICC courses mainly. The nannies and activity assistants providing um, doing the kids club for, for the kids obviously for our clients when they're out there and the bar staff and the beauty therapists. We also, because you're coming in, if you were to get a job with Sunsail, you'd be coming into TUI. We have a huge amount of winter options for us, so after you've completed the summer season, whether it's at Vanaki or at one of our yacht bases, uh, we have loads and loads of ski positions which we fill through Crystal, Flexi Ski and Ski Bound. Um, so there's options to transfer over to them. We also have UK positions come up, okay, that's how actually I got into the recruitment side of things, which I'm doing at the moment uh, in the office in Port Solent. Uh, you also have Caribbean work come up with Sunsail. Okay, the positions are a little bit rare, but you do get some positions come up in the Caribbean. And also, if we all offer discounted ROA training courses. So anybody wishing to uh, further their qualifications, we can offer them discounted ROA training courses over the winter, uh, providing they've signed up for another season. There's also, which isn't listed there, Le Boat stuff. Um, you can see the Le Boat logo there. It's a canal boating company that operates all across Europe. And occasionally we have some engineering positions come up with them over the winter and also through the summer months as well. So the package that we offer is a competitive salary depending on the role you go into, depends on what salary you could be talking at, looking at. Uh, an end of season bonus as well. Subsidized medical insurance for people going to the club. Also, full medical insurance for those going onto the yachts. Shared accommodation if you're at the club, and if you're on a lead crew, you will be uh, living on the lead boat with the other members of staff. You do get your, all, all your meals at the club. You do, do not at when you're on flotilla, okay? So it does say all meals there, but that is only for the club staff. Paid holiday, um, so there's very little time to take off during the season because you are very, very busy. Um, but we will pay you for your holiday at the end of your season. You get free use of all the kit out there, so if you're at the club, you get all the use of the dinghies and the windsurfs and stuff while you're out there. Um, on the yacht side of things, if you do have a couple of days off, at the discretion of your base manager, you could actually take one of the boats out. Friends and family discounts, so people that wanted to come out and see you, uh, they might be able to do that if they wanted to. And all year round working opportunities, both in the UK and overseas. And finally, um, the team is the most important aspect of the client's holiday. Um, so it's all down to, to you guys when you're out there. Okay, so thank you very much for, for listening. Um, but this, this could be you. Looks lovely, doesn't it? I'm biased because I used to do this as well. I was a flotilla skipper. So uh, like Ben, we had a lot of fun parking lots of boats and having lots of socialising. So... Uh, it's a lot of fun. The beach stuff's great, working on the beach and having a good time as well. Just a couple of questions, maybe, Ben. You talk about uh, your recruiting now. When should people contact you to be able to actually get an application and get a job? OK, yeah, uh, we are currently recruiting at the moment. Our jobs went on position in no uh, on online sorry, in November. Um, so we are looking to fill those positions at the moment. So if people are wanting to apply, they need to get them in as soon as possible. I think it's fair to say most people think the season starts in March, April, leave it too late and the jobs have gone. So the adage is definitely get on and apply early. November time, I think you put it up on the website. That's right. Yeah, it's November we put, put the jobs online. So Brilliant. And finally, after doing a course with someone like Flying Fish, I become an instructor uh, or I go and work on Flotilla. You say competitive salary, what sort of ballpark are we looking at? 
Uh, it can be anywhere from the region of £80 up to about £130, £140, depending on what position you're going for. Um, so if obviously management positions do get slightly more. The lead crews going out overseas do get slightly more and the club staff, depending on what position you're going for, really. So. Excellent. Well, with all those other perks, it's pretty good, I think. So, Ben, thank you very much indeed. Hope you found it interesting. Thank you very much.